Hey, good afternoon. This is Billy Carter with Ag Explorer down in Orlinda, Tennessee today, uh, walking some corn with Mr. Dustin Daniels, Mr. T.C. Groves, the grower. Today is the first time I've met T.C., and I got to brag on him. He's, he's got a very nice crop this year. Dustin is with LG Seed, and Dustin says the reason that he has a really good crop is because he knows what seed hybrid to plant. So, you know, that's what we've got going on. But, but we are looking at a, at a very nice crop of corn today. And what we've been down to discussing is it's late season, and are we going to make another pass on this corn with $3.70 or uh, $3.80, whatever the commodity price is on corn today? Does it warrant making an extra pass? And what are we looking for when we go to look that way? So, TC, you're a grower. Yes, sir. Uh, tell us, as we come out here and look at this crop, what what's the first thing you're looking for to start thinking it with these commodity prices if you're going to go on and, and do anything or, or your game plans? First thing I'm going to look at is my plant health. Um, which uh, we flew over it two weeks ago. And this field right here is probably one of the best corn fields we have um, as far as color and, and uh, stand and just the way that it looks, just looks absolutely excellent. Yeah. T TC, and you're talking about flying over. You're not talking about flying an airplane and flying a fungicide. Of course we did that, but you're yes. talking about investing time and effort yourself. Yes, we actually, we actually rent a plane um, about every year and fly over and look at our corn to be able to kind of see our nitrogen management um and this you can tell so much more um over the top of a corn crop that you can stand standing there walking through it i understand dustin uh what are some of the things that you're consulting here with tc you're doing some things you got some corn in your hand how you liking the hybrid that you have out there and tell us a little bit about that hybrid um, it, it looks good this is lg 65 uh, c30 so it's a it's a new one in our lineup. We have been impressed with it through production trials the last couple of years, and so it's the first year we're doing it in major field production. But uh, I tell you what, it looks it looks phenomenal. It handles stress, which is a good thing, because this last couple of weeks we've had some. Um, you know, it's it's been hot and dry, but we're hanging on. We've got we've got some good ears here. They're averaging uh, probably about 17 around on average. A uh, few 20s out there, a lot of 18s, a couple 16s. They're probably averaging 17 to 18 on average by about 34, 35 long. So we've got some good good uh, ears out here to, to try to protect. Yeah. So we've got the kernel count. We've got the stand. Yes, sir. Now, y'all have mentioned it's been hot and dry. Yes, sir. But I tell you what, what do you do when it's hot and dry? It's like, daggone, do I pull the trigger? Don't I pull the trigger? But we know when we get those late season potash applications, that that potash is going to naturally flow that water through the plant. Yes, sir. And as we're looking at this corn right here, we're half milk line, we're juicy as can be, you know? It's juicier than what grandma would make fried chicken on Sunday afternoon in the skillet, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, so we know that we've got 50% of yield to go. So we've got the option, we can either say, hey, we're done, and our, our ears look good, <laughs> or we can say, hey, we're gonna push the water through it, we're gonna put the boron in there to make sure the reproduction follows all the way out, we're gonna add a little bit of sulfur to keep that green together, that's photosynthesis, we're gonna finish this out with photosynthesis, we're gonna finish this out and instead of these going to popcorn kernels, we're going to shell thumbnail kernels. Yes, sir. So I, I think growers maybe get scared about that as we look at the prices. And, and there's nothing wrong with prices, we said earlier, if you've got bushels to shell, sell, right. right? That's exactly right. And and I think you made another point a moment ago. You said, I said, hey, you, you got to invest in a crop. What do you know about this crop? I know that crop right there is pretty much made. We just have to finish it out. That's right. Don't give up on it too early. Don't give up. And you know, guys, that, that's what I want to stress the most. I mean, you, you talk about a late potash boron sulfur application here, and it's absolutely needed. Fungicide application, of course, just to drop that ethylene down. But we do the best job we can do on buying the right hybrid. We have a gentleman like Dustin come out. They place the right hybrid. And we band our fertility. We use the seed treatments. We use the best herbicides, we use the best fungicides, and we walk away from it, and we shrink down, and what can be a 270, 280 crop, we're happy when it comes to 20, 230. Instead of going fishing, we finish this crop. But when you're looking at that milk line right there, and she's only halfway, and we've still got three and a half weeks of grain field, let's take advantage of it. That's exactly right. You know? That's exactly right. Exactly right. And the main thing is, guys, is always surround yourself with guys smarter than yourself. And that's the reason why I got these two guys right here. <laughs> we, we don't know about that. But, hey, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. I've had a good time. Dustin actually paid us to get on here for LG yeah, and show exactly. these, yeah. these ears. Yeah, we yeah. don't know that they're really LG ears, but we're going to take his word for it. But, anyway, fellas, enjoyed it. 
looking forward to seeing how this crop turns out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.